Hi, I'm Rob with By the Yard, and today we're assembling the Teate and Chippendale set, stationary. Note that you may have purchased a different color or a different seat back, and that's okay. Assembly is all the same. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cast of characters and get going. So let's look at our cast of characters for the Teate chairs. Most of what you see here is going to have two of everything. You're going to have two curved seat bottoms, two seat backs, you're going to have two arm leg assemblies and two arm leg assemblies with the table support. You're going to have two front braces and then you're only going to have one T brace and one table top. Next, of course, we have our nuts, screws, bolts, washers and the handy dandy 7 16 and wrenches and the number two Phillips screwdriver. And of course, our best friend, the power drill. So we're ready to get started with our Chippendale Teate stationary chair. This one in particular is in a redwood color. If yours is different, that's okay. The assembly is the same. Same if you have a different style seat back. We wanna make sure we have all our components before we get started. So we have our seat back, our curved seat base, our arm, and then of course our bolts, our nuts, and our washers. And of course, our 7 16 inch wrench and our number two Phillips screwdriver. You also notice we have a flathead screwdriver this time. And this is for a little tip I'll tell you about in just a second. So when you put your seat base and your seat back together, it might be a little taut. And so all you simply need to do is use the flathead screwdriver to pry the two together and it'll slide right nice into place. So first we're gonna take our seat arm, like so, and position it into place. You'll note there's holes here in the front that line up with the hole here. You have these two holes that are gonna line up with the holes in the back, and then you have a threaded insert under here that that two and a quarter inch bolt is gonna go into. So we just give the threaded insert bolt a couple of turns just to get it started. Then we're gonna take our three, three and a half inch bolts. We're gonna line them up. We'll start in the back here, since that's closest to me. Again, make sure that the head of the screw is on the outside. The reason being you want the extra length on the inside so it doesn't sink your clothes. And again, the third one goes in. So once you have all the bolts in, we're gonna place a washer and a nut on the inside of all of these, rinse and repeat on all of these, and then of course on the other chair for the other side as well. And we'll move on to the next step. Okay, you're doing really great. Just know that as we get set to do set number two. What we're focusing on now is actually doing the other side of the chair for the arm. Make sure it has the table notches in it when you assemble it. So remember the table notches go on the inside of the chair. Another good way to reference that is to make sure that the curved arm actually goes towards the back. The other piece we're looking at assembling right now is also the front brace. Simply slides into place like so. And then this piece can just go right on top of it, just like so. Okay, and the reason it's good to do that is so when you actually go to put the screws in, you can tighten everything up at once. Again, just like the other side, we have our three, three and a half inch long bolts. They're gonna drop into our holes, just like so. Repeat again on the next one if you need to. Give it a little tap to get it into place. There we go. Don't forget we have to use our two and a quarter inch bolt. We're going to place that into the threaded insert. And you just want to line it up, give it a couple of hand turns, and then you can use the power drill, of course, to tighten everything up. Don't forget on these three and a half inch bolts, we wanna make sure we place a washer and a nut on the underside and secure everything up. Lastly, before we go on to the next step, you have two screws, both flathead, and they're simply gonna go into place like so. And then we're gonna flip on the other side and do that as well. Now it's time to assemble the table that's gonna go in between our two stationary chairs. One thing we wanna make sure we point out is that the angles of the T-brace should line up with the angle of the tabletop itself. 
Another good note is just simply remember that the angle forward should go towards the shorter side of the table. All we need to do now is take the one four inch bolt, slide it through the holes. And if it doesn't want to just slide, simply take your Phillips screwdriver or power drill, get it through, take a washer, and then a nut. Get it started, and then we're gonna secure that up. Next, we're gonna flip the table over and start connecting the chairs together. So through the wonderful creation of Video Magic, you can see we've turned our chairs right side up. We have our table in place in the middle, and we've already assembled three of the four inch leg bolts that are going to all four of the holes in the armchair that face the center. All you're simply gonna do is find the hole in the front, slide it in. If you need to, either give it a little tap or you may need to screw it into place to really make sure it's all the way in. Then we're gonna take a washer and a nut and we're gonna put that in place with our 7 16 inch wrench and our number two Phillips screwdriver. Secure that up, rinse and repeat on the other three. And the last step, simply securing the T-brace to the back of the chairs. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, this is the last and final step before you get to enjoy your beautiful by the yard furniture. All you need to do is take your small screws that I left from the package of uh, contents that came with the kit, place them into the pre-drilled holes. We've already done the two on this side and the third here. All right, so we're gonna insert a last screw, just like so. Now we get to flip this up and enjoy our beautiful Tate Chippendale stationary chair. Now it's time to enjoy your beautiful Tate Chippendale stationary chairs from By the Yard. Minnesota makers of sustainable luxury outdoor furniture that's built to last.